Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, I'm just recording this video real quick because I had this issue last night setting up my wise cams. Um, I'm dog sitting and I wanted to try out, you know, giving the dog free reign of a specific area. But to be safe, um, we wanted to set up a camera. Um, so literally, you know, the power of Amazon looked up these cameras, ordered them, got them the next day, um, got some, you know, little doggy fences or they're kind of baby fences, but same difference, you know, set up the fences, um, you know, and then I went to set up the camera. Now I'm a tech person, like in my brain, I'm like, this will be pretty quick. Shouldn't take long at all. Yeah, th this was a headache, <laughs> truly a headache at the end of the day. Um, what I ran into was this issue. First, it was trying to set up or connect my wise cam on the five gigahertz connection. Now the app is pretty good and it straight up will let you know, like it straight up said, cannot connect to five gigahertz connection. So I was like, oh, okay, no problem. Let me switch to my 2.4 gigahertz connection. This is where the mistake was made. Prior to purchasing a wise cam, my authentication method on uh, both of my bands, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, they were both set to uh, WPA2 slash WPA3 personal. I spent easily an hour, hour and a half trying to troubleshoot why I could not simply connect this wise cam to my Wi-Fi. And I mean, I mean, I have AI mesh nodes in my house. I have a really, I guess you would consider expensive router. I'm like, there's no way this camera should have an issue connecting to the router. I'm like, I have a mesh node that is literally within feet of the camera. So I'm like, there should be no, no issue connecting prior to even purchasing the wise cam or as I was doing research, I stumbled upon a video and this, I blame, I'm gonna be straight up. I'm blaming that video. It was a video about robberies and how the security, the security cameras are getting blocked. Right. And the guy in the video said, okay, simple fix to keep these thieves from using this technology on your security camera and jamming them is to change the authentication method from, or basically to change it to WPA3, right? So I had my stuff on WPA3. I'm pretty sure my uh, five gigahertz connection is on WPA3, right? So change it to WPA3. I did that for both and I kind of had forgot I did it. I come back, here's me 12 at night securing the place because I got work, you know, the next day and I want to make sure everything's set up and good to go for the dog. I can't get this wise cam connected. <clears throat> Here's what ended up being the issue. This needed to be set on WPA slash WPA2. So if you are having an issue where for some reason you're trying to connect your wise cam I think any version of it, the, 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 the base model V2, V3, any wise cam, I would think, or any, probably any of their technology. If you're trying to connect and the security authentication is not set to WPA slash WPA2, there's your issue. I almost promise you. Um, so first make sure you're not on a five gigahertz connection. And then second, when you're on your 2.4 gigahertz connection, make sure it is WPA slash WPA2. Peace.